So are you saying, so as an investor, you should be more, you know, reactionary versus predictive. And so, you know, I shouldn't be trying to speculate in a sense to predict the next great downturn. I should just be sitting where I am. Yeah, actually, I think if you were to classify it, you should mostly be buying home. And so for our typical portfolio, 75% of our um, uh, portfolio is just broad market, S&P 500, total stock market index, those types of things designed to just hold on to it. And the rest of our stock market exposure, uh, the smaller part by far, is designed for some tactical movements, you know, buying some things like we just bought some clean energy ETFs, right? Because uh, again, they're starting to move uh, electric vehicle ETFs, those types of things. So that's a tactical move as far as that goes, just based on kind of what I'm seeing happen in the momentum. But for most part, you should be buy and hold and then really wait for those extreme situations uh, that you see coming to to be more reactive. Uh, and sometimes, uh, for example, in the downturn that we had last year, my first thought was trying to position the portfolio for the rebound. Uh, and so I watched very closely for things that were doing better during the downturn. Uh, that's why we bought Microsoft and Apple, for example, because it was doing better. Uh, and I felt like if, if something held up in that downturn, the market likes it, and maybe it'll continue to come back up quicker. That actually worked out. Doesn't always work, right? I mean, there's different situations, but um, I was positioning for the rebound. I wanted to recover quicker because um, it's very difficult to get out of the way of a market like that. That was the fastest 35% drop in history. So, you know, you're not going to get out of that. You're going to probably suffer through some of that. That's why you got to make sure your stock bond mixture is really sound before you get there. Uh, but what do you do to take advantage of it? And, I, and that's one thing that, that for downturns, I've gotten you know better at looking at that from a analytical standpoint and taking advantage of what's happening uh, during that time frame and, and getting positioned to try to recover as quick as possible. Because uh, recovery is a big deal. I, I was just use this example, you know, would you rather have a portfolio that only drops 3% but takes three years to get back or one that drops 30, but only takes three months to get back, right? So a lot of people focus tremendously just on how much it falls. You need to also focus on how fast you can come back. Uh, so recovery, I think, is a big piece of that, uh, especially as, you ha as you're in retirement, you know, you're living off this money, you know, having it stay down for a really long period of time is tough. And, you know, that can happen still. There's all kinds of different markets. You know, the Great Depression was down for a long time. Uh, and so, you know, trying to get defensive in the right situations, uh, I think is good, but mainly buy and hold. Yeah, I think that's been the, the key. Have the right stock bond mixture and hang in there.